Hey guys, David from FX Layouts here. It's finally time for the Eagle tutorial. I know I've been teasing for like two or three years. It took me a little while to get it to a place where I was comfortable sharing it with everybody, sharing uh, Eagle libraries and all that stuff. So for this tutorial, I wanted to do something special. I didn't want to lay out another fuzz face or a tube screamer or a big mouth. I've done plenty of those. So about a year ago, I designed, breadboarded this circuit that's based on the Maxon OD880. And I was really pleased with how it turned out. I tweaked a few things um, so that I can cover a little bit more components in the tutorial. Um, but it turned out well, and I think you guys are going to like it. Now I'd be remiss if I didn't thank a few people for their help in making this tutorial possible. And the first on that list is Jacob from JMK PCBs. Uh, a couple years ago he made a, a full tutorial series on Eagle 6, and that was super helpful for me in learning Eagle back when I first started learning, uh, back on Eagle 7. But a lot has changed in Eagle since Eagle 6 and Eagle 7. And Eagle's up to 9.6.2, and that will probably change before I can get this video out. But I just wanted to make a tutorial series that would be more up to date and be a little bit more familiar for someone who's just freshly downloading Eagle and cutting their teeth on the program. I also need to thank Brian from Mad Bean Pedals for all the help that he's put out to the community over the years, and especially the uh, Eagle libraries that he's curated and shared with everyone over the last few years. My library is based off of his, uh, with just some personal tweaks and a few new things here and there, but I owe a large debt of gratitude to Brian and the work that he's put into it. So our first step is to get Eagle installed on the computer. If you have Eagle already, uh, like an old version or something, fire it up, see this green button here, update to 9.6.2, in this case, the, the most recent version. Uh, go ahead, click that, and it'll download, and you can install um, the newest version of Eagle that way. Or if you don't already have it, you can go to uh, Autodesk's website. I'll put this link in the description below. Uh, pick your operating system and go ahead and click download. Once it's downloaded, um, go ahead and install it as you normally would any other application. And then it will probably auto start and get you to the Eagle control panel, which is what you see right here. Uh, from here, there's a couple things we need to do. First off is to look at the libraries. And the first one we'll look at is the managed libraries. This is the um, the library that's built into Eagle that they keep updated. It's got a ton of stuff, um, stuff anywhere from just basic, uh, you know, through hole pads to um, oh, motherboard stuff like processor chips and all this crazy stuff. So a lot of a vast majority of this you probably won't ever use. It's good to have on hand. Obviously, it's built in. You're not going to really get rid of it. Uh, as there's a few things you may want to dabble with eventually, um, find a different package for, and you can first place to look and is is here. Um, but it's a lot easier when you're doing a um, you know a pedal specific project to use a library that is specifically for making pedals. Uh, and in this folder, uh, you can see I have a couple iterations of my own personal uh, parts uh, library, as well as Mad Beans and a couple other ones. Uh, this one's a couple years old. I think version 4 is coming out soon from him. Um, and I'll put uh, download links to mine in the description as well as where you can get Brian's on um, his forum. Uh, to get his, you will need to be a, uh, a registered user on the Madbean forum if you're not already. Um, and if you're not already, you should check him out because it's a, it's a great little community. So to get uh, these libraries to show up here, um, once you've downloaded um, the libraries that you want to use, um, you'll go to your uh, your documents folder on your PC. Um, this is probably a little different on Mac or Linux, but this is how you use it on PC, and it's probably fairly similar on those OSs as well. But go to the Eagle uh, folder, and there's several um, folders in here, that a couple of which we will be dealing with later, uh, but for now we're worried about libraries. So you, in here you can just copy and paste in what you've downloaded, and it should show up in here. Um, now, by default, um, the managed library folder is active. So what you need to do first before you start drawing up a schematic or anything um, is right click on libraries and say use none. This will turn all of them off and then you can go into your custom library and tell it which one of these you want to use. You can have multiple ones in use. Uh, but for now we're just going to use the FX Layouts Library version 2. Click Use All. And that's how we get started. Okay. 